राधे राधे एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू टू सिनेरियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर रिसेंटली आस्ट इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यू एट ईवाई व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द बिग फोर कंपनीज यू ऑल नो दीस टू सिनेरियोस वर प्रोवाइडेड टू बी माय वन ऑफ द सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ दिस चैनल सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट सो दैट यू कैन आल्सो बी अवेयर अबाउट इट एंड यू कैन बी बेटर प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर योर अपकमिंग इंटरव्यूज यू विल डेफिनेटली लर्न अ लॉट इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टे फोकस्ड एंड स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड ऑलराइट लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू हिट द लाइक बटन ऑफ दिस वीडियो इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू ब्रिंग मोर यूजफुल वीडियोस फॉर यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू इट एंड यू कैन आल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन Instagram learn with gigs so you can see on the screen these were the two scenarios which you can clearly see it was asked in ey okay so the first scenario is there is a subject column with the name called subjects okay and you have different subjects in in different rows for example in the first row you have math english arts in the second science computer in the third science social science how to calculate the number of subjects in each row in power bi so this is the first scenario asked so basically we need to create a column which will result 3 in the first row 2 in the second row and 2 in the last row so we need to calculate the number of subjects in each row so let's see how we can do this in power bi so there are two ways to do this so you should be aware about both the ways so that either of them can be asked in your interview so let's move to power bi and see how we can achieve this so i will go to power query first so let's see how we can do this in power query in power bi desktop so i have already loaded that same column with the same subjects as you can see on the screen now how to create that column which can result 3 2 and 1 over here so obviously we need to create another column so what i will do i'd go on add column and click on custom column so i will name it as count and then here let's see how we can achieve this before moving ahead pause this video and you yourself think how we can achieve this in power query it is little bit tricky but it is easy as well so think about it so what i will do over here is first of all i will split every row with the delimiter called comma which you can see on the screen so what i will do i will use text dot split function over here and i will remove this text part so basically text dot split function we should use and it's very commonly used m function so you should be aware about it these are very basic m functions so i will open the parenthesis what it takes it takes text as its first argument and second argument as the delimiter or the separator you can say so the first argument will be my subjects column which i can select from here comma the delimiter what is the delimiter my delimiter is comma i will give that let's see what does this particular function return and then you will understand what else we can do to get our required result click on okay and you can see it has created a list so that function is resulting a list of subjects if i will go over here and expand to new rows you can clearly see it has expanded to three rows two rows and two rows respectively what should be done on top of this i will remove this step go to the step that we have created and here i will make use of another function which is list dot count which i can select it from here so list dot count will what do it will basically count the number of subjects which this text dot split has created so i'll just close the parenthesis and see what does it result the result is 3 2 2 so this is how using basic m functions you can create this custom column in power query itself i hope you understood how to do this and you will remember this and you will use this in your real time use cases also all right we are done with this let's close and apply and see how we can do this using dax as well because they can directly ask you how will you perform this using dax in power bi so for that i will create a calculated column so i will go to the uh, the table okay and i will create here new column so that directly you can see over here what does it result so i will name it as count new so that we can verify if we are getting the right result or not i will use variable over here just to make the solution easy so just name it as a variable a equal to what i will do i will name i will make use of len function what does len function do it returns the number of characters in a text string so my text is my subjects column so i will just choose my subjects column from here so this will give me the total number of characters in this particular column for each row my next variable will be where b equal to here i will make use of substitute function okay substitute you will understand why i am using substitute so what is it takes it takes text as its first argument so my text will be my subjects column chosen that then 
it asks for the old text so we want to substitute comma we want to basically replace this comma with something else that will be what that will be something without space so for that i will just close this so this will what it will do it will replace this comma in every row without any space for example the first row will contain math english arts without commas similarly in the second science computers without comma science social science without comma and now what it should do it should then again count the number of characters again i will make use of len function next one what will do i will do return so what i will return i will return i, I can do in parenthesis a minus b means whatever variables we have created a minus b plus 1 for example if i have two commas in the first row the result is 3 means 2 plus 1 I have one comma, so one plus one equal to two. That's what is the final result, and that's what we should also get it. So that's why I have added plus one. Let's see what does this results. You can clearly see the uh, the new column is also showing the same result three two two. So this is how you can do this using DAX by using len and substitute function like this. I hope it is clear to you now. All right, now let's move to the next question. Next you, question you can see. There is, a, uh, there is a table with two columns, country and amount. Okay, and you can see the country and they, are, and they have respective amounts. What they have to calculate? You have to calculate the percentage of each country amount out of total amount column in Power BI. I will go back to this table number two. So here we can create a new measure. Okay, so let's create a new measure over here. So I will name it as first. So directly over here, I will make use of here divide function. So divide takes two arguments numerator and denominator what, what should be my numerator my numerator should be sum of amount column so numerator should be this what should be my denominator comma okay before that let me close the parenthesis for some not denominator should be i will here make use of calculate function again sum function again amount function now here make i will make use of all function and here i will provide the table two as its argument close the bracket for all calculate and divide so what i am doing over here i am calculating the totals irrespective of the filter context so if i will pull it in a table visual it will ignore the filter context and it will give me the total sum total amount and from that only we, we have to basically divide right so that's why this part of dax code is required now let's see what does this result if i bring this in a table visual so this is my uh, percentage measure I will put it as percentage then I will bring the table visual country column amount column which you can see right now on the screen and here I will pull the measure and you can clearly see we have got the right result 36 22 26 14% respective percentage with respect to the total amount and at the end the summation is also right which is 100% so I hope you understood the solution of both the scenarios do leave a comment if you found the video useful and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you